Let's look at some definitions. The first is, what does it mean when we say a function is increasing, or we have an increasing function? Notice that on the interval from 1 to 2, uh, the change, the first derivative, the change in the function is equal to what? Uh, it's equal to 0. There is no change. It's a horizontal line. Now, what about on the interval from 2 uh, to 4? Uh, well, from the interval 2 to 4, it looks like uh, this, uh, the first derivative is uh, increasing. The first derivative is going to be positive, so we can say this is greater uh, than 0. And the direction is moving uh, up as we move to the right. What about the interval 1 uh, all the way to 4? Well, uh, the first derivative is increasing for part of it, and it's constant for part of it. So we're going to say that the first derivative is greater than or equal to 0. So an increasing function can have a point, or I shouldn't say a point, I should say an interval, an interval uh, in its domain where the function is neither increasing nor decreasing. It's a constant, flat. Similarly, what is a decreasing function? Well, a function uh, that is decreasing uh, can look like the function that we have right here. And we see that on the interval x from 1 to 2 uh, is uh, constant. And on the interval 2 to 3, it is negative function is decreasing. And on the interval 1 to 3, I should say 3 right there, uh, the function is less than or equal to 0. So a decreasing function can have an interval in its domain where uh, the function is actually neither increasing nor decreasing. If there's another interval in the domain where it is decreasing, uh, then we call that a decreasing function. Take a look at the functions in front of you on the slides. One of these functions is a strictly increasing function. The other is a strictly decreasing function. If we consider uh, the interval in the domain uh, from uh, one point to another, and all along that interval, the function is increasing. As we move, as x gets larger, a y is also getting larger, and the graph is moving upwards as we move to the right. Similarly, with a strictly decreasing function, if we look at an interval on the domain, at all points within that interval, the function is decreasing as x gets larger. Then we say the function is strictly decreasing. Here is a summary slide uh, for you to keep in mind, and I've also given you uh, the mathematical definitions. So think of a, notice that with the increasing function we have a greater than or equal to sign, while with a strictly increasing function uh, it's a greater than sign, no equality. You, know, you can see here we've got a flat part uh, and then we've got a part that's increasing, and so we just say that the function is increasing, even though in some parts it's neither increasing nor decreasing. It's constant. So keep these definitions in mind uh, because uh, they can be uh, quite useful uh, later in the course, especially when we get to the section on optimization. Before we move on to the next slide, I'd like to emphasize that we can define whether a function is increasing or decreasing uh, without using calculus. So uh, the function uh, uh, x2 is greater than or equal to the function at x1. Uh, whenever x2 is strictly greater than x1, uh, then that's the definition for x to be increasing on an interval.
So we didn't actually need to use calculus. Uh, on the next slide, let's talk a little bit about the first derivative. We can say that if the first derivative is equal to or greater than zero for all x in some interval i, then this implies that the function f is also increasing in the interval. Notice that our implication arrow is going both ways. So this means that if I tell you I've got uh, a function f that's increasing on an interval, then you know that the first derivative must be greater than or equal to zero. Similarly, if I told you that f is decreasing in some interval, then f prime x must be less than or equal to zero for all x in the interval i. Each statement implies the other. Here's a question about uh, a function. Uh, we've got a function drawn here. Here it is in math terms and it's been graphed for us. And we're being asked whether the following statements are true or false. Our first statement says that f prime of x, so the first derivative, the derivative is less than zero, strictly less than zero, if x is on uh, the interval from negative infinity to one. Now we don't have uh, x going all the way to negative infinity here. Imagine that it's from here uh, to here. And we've got a round bracket uh, here, so we know that the interval does not actually include 1. So it gets very close to 1, but doesn't include 1. Is the statement true or false? That seems to be a true, true statement. Uh, the derivative, the function is decreasing, the function is decreasing. Uh, all through that interval, then it must be that the first derivative is uh, less than zero, strictly less than zero. And so the function is strictly decreasing on the interval uh, negative infinity or maybe negative one to one. Statement two, f prime of x is greater than zero if x is on the interval 1.5 to 2.5 and it's closed. So we're going to include uh, 1.5 and 2.5 uh, in the interval. So that's somewhere from here to here. Uh, is f prime of x greater than 0? And I think this is true. It seems to be true. The function is increasing as x increases. So we say that the function is increasing at all points on the interval. So it must be a strictly increasing function within that interval. Uh, three, f prime of x is strictly greater than zero if x is on the element from one to infinity. Well, there's, a, there's points here where the function seems to be flat, horizontal, and then over here, it's decreasing. Uh, so I don't think this statement is true. It must be false. Our next statement, number four, says that f prime of x is greater than zero, strictly greater than zero, if x is on the interval one to three, including one and three. And I think this statement is actually going to be false because it seems to me there's a horizontal line here and here when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. And since we have square brackets, we're including both 1 and 3. This interval is uh, not strictly increasing. We could say that it's increasing. Uh, we could say that f prime 0 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, that would be a true statement for number 4. 
um, but it's not a strictly increasing uh, function on the interval 1 to 3.